Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. Morning, guys, it's Zerk's coming at you today with another YouTube video. And today we've got the new legends in the game. We have Bro Derek Thomas and Marquise Pouncey. Now, I have to say, right, after the last couple of weeks of legends that we've had here, not exactly the craziest week, but this tends to happen, right? You tend to get a week of legends where you're kind of just like Okay, I think this is one of those weeks where you're just kind of like, okay. But bro, Derek Thomas did play for the Cowboys. However, we just got Lawrence Taylor. So, I think I might stick with LT. I think I might pass up on the Cowboy and still stick with LT because LT is just a monster. Maybe I'll pick up bro, Derek and throw him at left outside linebacker. Uh, so that way I can still use the Cowboys cam over there. We'll see. But I do want to give a shout out to Crazy Ion for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below Nota Gang. But as I said, we do have bro Derek Thomas and Marquise Pouncey. A lot of Steelers fans, I know we're very, very excited about him. Uh, and a lot of people honestly aren't very excited for bro Derek Thomas, which I'll be honest, the card actually looks pretty good. Like he's pretty much Lawrence Taylor, but slightly better at pretty much everything except lt has power move and finesse move and bro Derek doesn't which does make a difference sometimes but regardless he's still gonna be incredible but lt really just plays different right i mean it's lt that dude just plays different so if you could get both of them that'd be insane but we do have legend fantasy packs in the store and i am going to do one of these bundles now you know if you guys missed the videos yesterday i highly recommend you go and check them out probably the greatest day ever for me when it comes to uh packs probably the greatest day ever when it comes to packs i'm not gonna lie and potentially the greatest day ever when it comes to madden 22 and my pack opening so i don't expect to get a limited today this is one time where i would not really get too upset if we don't end up pulling a limited time card today because after yesterday I feel like I've used up all my luck. That scared me so bad. I don't know why, but that, that just scared me so bad. And our legend is an 83. So that's pretty solid right there. AJ Brown. Now, you guys saw that as well, right? When you go to the, the menu there, they do have the most feared icon on it now. Or like a background. It's the 85 overall Leonard Davis right there in round number one. We get a 73 overall, Blake Bell. I'll take all these elites. Round number two, base elite. Okay, 83. And then 87. Okay, 87 overall, Hendricks. I actually thought that was about to be a really, really bad pack. For some reason, I thought today, when I saw that like background there for a split second, maybe they were going to be like most feared legend fantasy packs, which would have been kind of cool if they like guaranteed you a most feared player, but maybe in like round one. So they didn't take away from what you already get in round number two. I feel like that would have been uh, pretty cool there. But we get an 83. We get a big legend. Come on. 90 overall Brandon Marshall. Let's go. That's actually really, really expensive. Especially right now because of his LTD. So 180k right now for that 90 overall Brandon Marshall. That's a nice pull. That's a really, really nice pull. Especially since I actually want to get that Brandon Marshall card. I mean, that card looks crazy. But I am a little bit concerned though, right? So with how good that Brandon Marshall card is, is it a trap? Are they about to start releasing like some crazy, crazy wide receivers as we get a really good round number one here? 84 overall Curtis Martin. We get a Nick Chubb power up four elites and some pretty decent ones at that. In round one, round two, 88. Okay. Corley, 83. And our legend is, is an 84. So that was actually a pretty decent like in fantasy pack i mean five elites can't be mad at that can't be mad at five elites that is for sure we also got the full legend brandon marshall so this is actually going you know surprisingly better than i thought it would we'll go with the robert woods and the 76 though round number two mark andrews brandon sheriff and ah, kind of a kind of a meh pack you know 
again when it comes to these packs i think i've said this pretty much all year i don't think at any point really in the year these packs have ever been worth spending uh, 120k on because the odds of you actually you know making profit off these is not the greatest it's it's really not round number two though we do get a team week 84 cmc we also get 87 ladanian all right so when you give me that animation right and you give me an 87 which i pulled ted hendrix earlier who's an 87 and he didn't have the big animation because he's a lower set piece in his set i expect more than an 87 overall pull and i see the animation right there is 87 fred warner in round one okay that's nice round two 84 83 and then 87 marquis pouncy okay i'll take that that's actually gonna be decently expensive uh, i feel like pouncy is going to be pretty pretty expensive i mean it's an offensive lineman so they're not going to be like you know 800k whatever but it's a really really good offensive lineman we get shaquille barrett we also get rashawn evans we'll go with slater and patterson round two most feared ltd tim patrick okay double most feared asante and we ended off with an 85 overall larry zonka now we have the two toppers to get into i will say that bundle was pretty solid nothing crazy but it could get way better here please 89 mike haynes all right i'll take that and the final pack of the bundle is lights come on 90 charles woodson that was actually pretty solid right nothing crazy crazy but we made a good amount of coins let's go ahead and take a look here at these legends and we'll see exactly what the price of the limiteds are looking like which looks like they're actually both up right now now of course the cards just got thrown up right so it's gonna get cheaper but marquis pouncy is really good he's got 75 speed and 79 acceleration 93 strength 93 awareness 92 pass blocking 93 run block he's also got 92 impact block 91 lead block so if i compare pouncy to bruce matthews who's my current center i mean dude he, he just blows him out of the water and then bro Derek thomas i'm going to compare him to lawrence taylor just so you guys can see so this is powered up lt versus limited time bro Derek thomas which is the base card just powered up so pretty much these are the maxed out stats of both of these guys without chemistries and everything so same speed excel goes to bro Derek by one 6-4 versus 6-3. We have 90 strength versus 88 strength. Tackling, though, definitely goes Bro Derek. Player X the same. Block shed is 94. Power move is 94. But there's no finesse move on Bro Derek Thomas. So take that as it is. Really good with power move. Really good with block shed. I mean, he's 250 pounds as well. This is a really, really good card. He's also got 74 zone, 94 hit power. So i mean which player would i rather have if you look at the stats right block shed the power move bro Derek thomas technically looks better but if you know lt lt plays different and lt has power move and finesse move as well really if you can pick up both of these guys i think you're pretty much set there for me uh if i can only have one i think i'm sticking with lt because lt is just lawrence taylor i tell you guys this every year lt comes out you pick him up and it doesn't matter what card comes out right because lawrence taylor is going to play as good as every other card that's out until he gets another upgrade and it's just as simple as that so with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like video and of course hit that sub button down below you guys can see for Derek thomas coming down to price already 910k i don't think i'm really going to jump on this card right now you know for 500k even i think i'm just gonna wait till next week because you know the week after cards come out that's really when their price comes down so i don't really feel like i need bro Derek thomas right now i'll wait until next week scoop him up and then probably throw him in a left side linebacker add that cowboys chem to him so i can make him even better and then he's gonna play really good so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video see you guys next time